Good question. Good question. Yeah, I glossed over that when I was talking about the architecture. LSM style key value stores typically have kind of two storage layers. The first is the write ahead log and the second is the SSTs. So the, yeah. the write ahead log, what it does is you, when writes come in, they're getting batched up in memory or whatever. And as that's happening, they are, those writes are getting written appended to this write ahead log, which is just a sequence of files that contain all the latest key value pairs. And it's used for recovery. It's not really mm -hmm. meant to be used for reading. What the LSM will then periodically do is take the stuff that it has in memory, that's all the key value pairs in memory that have already been written to the write ahead log, and it will periodically flush those key value pairs out to one of these SST files that I mentioned earlier. Once that happens, the data is in an SST file and you can then truncate the write ahead log because you no longer need that data during a recovery. If however, the process crashes, whatever data was in memory has been lost. However, luckily it's been written to the write ahead log and on startup, you essentially replay since the last SST that you wrote in the write ahead log, you read all the latest stuff and load all that into memory so that you haven't lost any data.